Hey everybody, how you doing? This is attorney Anthony Reeves and this is your legal beat tip of the day. I know you're probably wondering why I am doing this beautiful shot of the outdoors. You gotta love it, man. Check out all this beautifulness. It's nice and sunny outside. Nothing issue going on. Of course, you know, I got my eye on a couple of wasps that look like they're flying in my direction because I am a scaredy cat. But for those of you who are probably wondering, why are you doing this thing outside? It's because I want to talk to you a little bit about daily activities and how they can affect your social security case. For instance, how many of you found yourself getting all these forms from social security and they say the same thing over and over again, asking you, you know, do you do yard work? Do you cut the grass? Do you, you know, do, do you lay plants outside? Do you do house cleaning? Do you cook? You know, do you clean your bathrooms? And you're probably wondering, why are they asking me these questions? Well, daily activities can serve as a pretty good reference point for how those activities can possibly transition into work. I'll give you a good example. Let's say, for instance, that you say um, you're on your, you're telling Social Security that oh I'm on my back all day and so forth. But then when they start asking you about things like well do you help do to house cleaning? Well yeah I do. I clean my house every day. That takes about an hour. Okay, then maybe your condition is not as bad as you're saying it is. Or another thing, this is where I tell people a lot: your credibility is tested. Let's look at it for an instance. Let's say that you have asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In other words, you have breathing problems. And you're like, oh, everything aggravates me, dust, fumes, you name it, dirt, I get all aggravated. But then they ask you the question, do you clean your bathroom? Well, what do you clean with your bathroom? Ammonia, Lysol, Pine Sol, and what is that? Chemicals. Or they might ask you, do you do any yard work? Yeah, well, I'll cut my yard. Guess what happens when you mow that lawn? Dust pops up. So of course, you're probably sitting here saying this because you do these things on such a regular basis that you don't think about how those may affect your case. Now, let me make this thing 100% clear to you because I don't want anybody sitting here thinking, well then dang, God, maybe I shouldn't do a thing. Social Security doesn't expect you to live in what we call a vegetative state. Nobody's expecting you to sit on the couch and just wait for disability benefits to kick in. That would be silly you still got to go on to live your life. But when you're talking about your daily activities, take a moment to think about them in relation to how your condition affects you. For instance, if you used to do yard work, like let's say you had a garden and then you hurt your back, but you still have the garden. Well, how are you dealing with the garden now that your back hurts? Well, maybe you have a niece or maybe a neighborhood kid comes over and helps you work on the yard. So you tend to get a slightly different effect because they're helping you out as opposed to when you used to get on your knees every day and churn up the grass. Or even more importantly, let's say you have a garden, but as opposed to going out there every day and working on your garden, and I know I'm sitting there sweating like, woo, out of here. As opposed to going out there going every day, you're not going every other day. Or maybe just once a week because your back doesn't let you do it. When you are describing your daily activities, keep in context how your daily activities and how your medical disability interact with one another. Same thing, if you do house cleaning, if you just say, I, yeah, I clean the house, well, in my mind, that's covering everything. That means you're washing the dishes, you're, you're doing the clothes, you're probably also mopping and dusting and, and sweeping. Clarify that. If your interpretation of house cleaning now is you occasionally sweep, meaning once or twice a week, or you might you know, make up your bedroom, and that's your idea of house cleaning, specify that. You gotta give Social Security enough information about how your condition limits you, not only in your ability to work, but also in your day-to-day -day activities, because that gives Social Security a pretty good indication of how your condition relates to your everyday life. Also, keep in mind this, I'm gonna say this over and over again, your daily activities also is a great tool to assess your level of credibility. Now, you say to yourself, what do you mean by my level of credibility? Well, if you're sitting here telling me that you can't be exposed to any dust and any fumes whatsoever, but yet you're still out there cutting your yard, and you're still out there cleaning with cleaning supplies, I'm not gonna give as much weight to what you say when your activity says to the contrary. When you say that I, can only, I can't lift anything over one pound, but you go grocery shopping by yourself, if you're taking your groceries out of the car, into the car, out of the car, into the house, Trust me, your groceries are weighing more than one pound. So you want to keep all those things in mind. People, I'm going to say this again. 
when Social Security is looking at whether you're disabled, they're not only just looking at whether or not you can do the work that you used to do, but they're looking at all other work. And also they're looking at how your condition affects your daily activities because your daily activities is somewhat of an indicator of whether or not they're able, you're able to transition into other things. Because sometimes people fail to realize this. For instance, if you spend six hours a day sitting on your computer, having fun playing solitaire and pinochle and surfing, well, you could spend six hours a day sitting in front of a surveillance monitor. You could spend six hours a day handing money at a toll booth. Makes sense, doesn't it? Sounds kind of weird. But that's just the way they op it operates. Remember this. The moment you have a disability, your life is going to change. Pay close attention to how it changes. Yes, you did, house, you did house cleaning before. You're doing house cleaning now. But now you have a disability. Pay close attention to how your disability affects your ability to do things that you normally do. This is Anthony Reeves, and as always, if you have any other questions or you want to check out some more of my topics, by all means, go to www.reevesfirm.com or you can check out my blog at legalbeat.anthonyreeves.com. That's legalbeat.anthonyreeves.com for more help. Now, I'm going to tell you, I am sweating, and I'm going to go back and try to find me something cool to drink. You have a wonderful day, and as always, if you have any questions or if you need uh, more insight, please leave a comment because I'll be more than happy to come back later and uh, address that comment later in a separate post. All right. Have a wonderful day. Stay out of trouble. And more importantly, take care.